Good morning, dear students. I wish you are all fine there. Do you know what's our today's interesting topic is? Our today's topic is British period in India. Do you know who ruled India for 200 years? Britishers ruled India for 200 years. Can you say freedom fighters like whom help India to gain its freedom? Freedom fighters like Mahatma Gandhi, Chacha Nehru, and Sardar Bhalla Bhai Patel, Netai Subhash Chandra Bose, etc. help us to gain our independence. See the picture. Can you say how Britishers ruled, reached to India? Britishers reached via sea routes. Via sea, through ships. Do you know who discovered the sea routes to India from Europe? The sea route discovered by Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama. Vasco da Gama was firstly discovered a sea route through across the across the Africa to India through the Madagascar Channel. You can see in the map he discovered the path in 1498, 1498. Trade between India and Europe started. This route helps Europe uh, many chances to European countries to trade with India. European countries like France and uh, Netherlands and British Portuguese start trading via this route. So in 1600 CE, British established its first company, East India Company, in India. So, rivalry uh, occurs between the European companies to gain much profit and, and trading routes, tra trading centers. Finally, British emerged victorious and able to capture most of the tradings in India. So, finally established the colonial rule in India. How he ruled India in step by step, we can understood, have to understand. See, first war is Battle of Palasi and then Battle of Baksar. Britishers start their trading at Surat. They, Surat, gradually they expand their trading to Bom, Bombay, today's Mumbai, and then, then Madras, today's Chennai. Then they got permission from Mughal Empire also to trade in Bengal also. But they don't get the permission, they don't uh, take the, took the permission from Sirajudala, Nabab of Banga, Bengal. So, the Battle of Palasi occurred. But in Battle of Palasi, it took place in 1757, Nabab's army and between Nabab's army and British. But British able to win the battle and make Mir, and make Mir Jafar the king uh, ruler of Hoyahat, puppet king of uh, Bengal, Nabab of Bengal and remove the Sirajudala from the seat. But after that discontinued with the misuse power by the Britishers, a combined armies of Mughals, Mughal Empire and this uh, Bengal, Bengal Nawab and Avad Nawab, a, a struggle sta started in terms of Battle of Boxer in 1764 with the Britishers. But in this all, war also British win and able to get right to collect revenue from the Bengal. This is the foundation stone of the British in India. First ruling, uh, ruling rights they get to uh, in India to, from Beng through Bengal. Let's answer some questions. Can you already know the um, European countries like Netherlands, Portuguese, France, British established their companies for trading and start a colonial empires? Can you say what are those companies they started and what is the best place? Can you say Great Britain is established? British East India Company, best place is what? Bengal. France, France, France also established. 
French East India Company, their base place is Puducherry Pond or Pondicherry. And Portugal, Portugal established their company named Portuguese East India Company. Their, their base place is Goa and Mumbai, Damon, Dew, these are the best place of Portuguese. And for Netherlands, their trading base place is trading place place is where that mostly Putnam and the Surat there are his best place place places these are their best, best places let's start understand next our next uh, concept what is disconnect against the British rule we know all, uh, all know we have already known British started the entering the administration of India by through after the battle of Pallasi and battle of Boxer. They started collecting their revenue. In battle of battle of Boxer occurred in 1764 after that they got the right to collect the revenue from Bengal. You all know. Now they are administrating slowly slowly gradually they are start administrators administrating entire countries. Our entire country but as soon as East, Urban, East India Company gained the control over India, they started exploiting people. Exploiting means what? Torture people. Torture so to gain their greedy, to satisfy their greedy aims. Greedy aims and gain, gain money and gain something, whatever. This is called exploiting. Exploiting, they force farmers farmers to grow cash crops like indigo, cotton instead of food crops. They don't allow farmers to grow food crops. They collect the indigo and cottons uh, from the farmers and process them in, in British, British factories in Britain and sell in India in high rates. But they don't allow Indians to establish their own factories. They are, they are, they are, that's why classes occurs. Understood? Let's understand how the classes occurs between the cla classes occurs between the Britishers and a class of Indians. Let's start. As Indians forced to buy the goods from only Britishers that made out of British factories, or you can say also British made goods. So Indian weavers and craftsmen got heavy loss. Where Britishers get heavy profit out of such tactics, where Indian farmers got a very little profit or even no profit out of such situations. Where Britishers controlling most of the country, they start imposing heavy taxes and to grip their, tighten their grip of administration, they start imposing strict laws to control easily over Indians. This causes a discontent among Indians against whom Britishers who touching the Indians in many ways. Let's, let's they start the, a disconnect, so dis disconnect leads to a freedom struggle or revolt among Indians which is the first revolt which called what? Revolt of 1857. Or this otherwise called Sipoi revolt. Uh, as it is mainly started by Sipois or soldiers, Indian soldiers working, serving, serving in British army. So that's why serving in British army. The Sipois start mainly started from Miro. Then the freedom fighters, many freedom fighters like Jhansi, Jhansi Rani Lakshmi Bai, Jhansi. Um, um, Queen of Jhansi, Lakshmi Bai, Tantia Tope, Malbi, Ahamdullah, Rao Tularam and Konwar Singh joined this struggle of revolt. But within a year, Britishers succeed to cross this revolt. Such participation, this revolt was crossed and don't get to any conclusion. So, they fail to restrict Britishers. But this revolt causes many changes among British rule. 
ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट डायरेक्टली टू कंट्रोल ओवर इंडिया एंड ना कंपनी राज और ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी ना नॉट शुड नॉट रूलिंग अलाउ टू एडमिनिस्टर दि कंट्री ना दि क्वीन विक्टोरिया बिकम्स दि एम्प्रेस अफ इंडिया इंडिया ना एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ हर दे सी अपॉइंट ए सी अपॉइंट ए भाइस रॉय टू रूल इंडिया नाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड द आवर नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट लेट्स लर्न अबाउट स्प्रेड ऑफ न्यू आइडियाज एंड सोशल रिफॉर्म्स द एजुकेटेड इंडियंस वर्क टू आर सोशल रिफॉर्म्स द सोशल रिफॉर्मर्स लाइक ईश्वर चंद्र विद्यासागर राजा राम मोहन राय देवेंद्र नाथ टेगोर एंड स्वामी दयानंद सरस्वती रेज भयस एगेस्ट सोशल इविल्स लाइक चाइल्ड मैरेज कास्ट सिस्टम फिमेल इनफैंट सैड एंड सती फिमेल इनफैंट सैड एंड सती दे अल्सो एनकरेज एजुकेशन फर ओमेन एंड दे ओर इन फेवर अफ रिमेज अफ विडोज अंडरस्टैंड नेक्स्ट आवर कनसेप्ट इज इंडियान न्यासनाल कंग्रेस इंडियान न्यासनाल कंग्रेस ये पीपल ऑफ इंडिया नाउ अंडरस्टूड दैट ब्रिटिशर्स आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड टू डेवलप द कंट्री रैदर दैन बट दे आर मोस्टली इंटरेस्टेड टू आकुमुलेटेड रिचेस फॉर देमसेल्स इन 1885 एओ ह्यूम फाउंडेड द इंडिया नेशनल कांग्रेस इट इज एमिंग एट इन्वॉल्विंग द एजुकेटेड इंडियंस इन द कंट्रीज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दादा भाई नोरारजी बदुरुद्दीन त्याबजी फिरोज शाह मेहता सुरेंद्रनाथ बानार्जी गोपालकृष्ण गंग कोखले ओयर दि सब मोस्ट प्रोमेट मेम्बर्स अफ इंडिया न्यासनाल कंग्रेस लेट्स अफ सम अफ व्हाट्स वी लर्न टुडे वी लर्न टुडे द मेनली इन थ्री पार्टस हाउ दि पाथ डिस्क दि सी रुट फ्रम यूरोप टू इंडिया डिस्कवर्ड एंड हाउ ब्रिटिश स्लोली स्लोली एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिंग दि एंटायर कंट्री एंड हाउ दि रिवल्ट एंड सोशल रिफर्मस रिचेस टू इंडिया इन फास्ट पार्ट वी स्टडीड इन नाइन फोर्टीन हंड्रेड नाइंटी एट डिस्कवरी अफ पा सी रुट हापेन बाय भास्कर गामा दि पर्तुगिज एक्सप्लोर देन ब्रिटिशर्स केम इन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड सीई दि फास्ट रूलींग रूलींग दे स्टार्टेड भाया दि व्हाट बैटल ऑफ पलासी फ्रॉम बैटल ऑफ पलासी इन 1757, हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेवेन दे ब्रिटिश गेन कंट्रोल ओवर इन बेंगल आफ्टर दि सेवेन्टीन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फोर दैट इज बैटल अफ बक्सर इन दि बैटल अफ बक्सर दे टुक दि कंट्रोल अफ रेभिन्यू रेभिन्यू रईट्स इन दि बेंगल आफ्टर द स्लोली स्लोली दे कंट्रोल ऑल ऑफ़ दि कंट्री ने थर्ड पार्ट इज डिस्कटेन्ट अफ इंडिया विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू ब्रिटिशर्स ड्यू टू दे आर इनजस्ट टैक्टिक्स टुवर्ड्स इंडिया डिस्कनेक्ट दे आर ड्यू टू डिस्कनेक्ट अफ ब्रिटिश एगेन्स्ट ब्रिटिशर्स पीपुल फिल एक्सप्लोटेड सो दैट इन एटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेवेन रिवल्ट अकर् बै दि सीपोईज वर्किंग अंडर ब्रिटिश इंडियान सीपोईज वर्किंग अंडर ब्रिटिशर्स ब्रिटिश आर्मी दि स्केल अफ रिवल्ट एगेन्स्ट The high, yes, the scale of revolt against the Britishers are high. In full scale, it runs, but after that, it suppressed by the Britishers. Then, be a, a directly a, a company that got a company with the British East India Company that don't administering after that, and many reforms come and changes occur. The company that got to a The uh, company that means India, uh, East Indies Company, don't uh, now uh, allow to administer uh, administer the country. In uh, uh, rather than the, uh, instead of that, now Queen Victoria becomes the Empress of India, and on behalf of her, a viceroy appointed to govern the country. After that, we learn about the social reforms that happened by different educated Indians. and the establishment of indian national congress and their members establishment uh, uh, founded by whom h a 
एच ए ह्यूम एंड देर ए मेनी प्रोमिनेट मेम्बर्स दि प्रोमेट मेम्बर्स लाइक बदरुद्दीन टैबजी फिरोज शाह मेहता दादा भाई नोरारजी एंड गोपाल कृष्ण गोखले आर दि मेन प्रोमेट मेम्बर्स अफ इंडिया नेशनल कंग्रेस आर दि टाइम आर दैट टाइम ना आई विश यू आर अंडरस्टाण दि लेसन वेल आई एक्सपेक्ट यू प्राक्टाइज योर एक्सरसाइज एंड भेरीफाइ योर आंसर उथ दि सल्यूसन्स प्रोभाइडेड इन दि डेस्क्रिप्सन बक्स थैंक यू आई विश you will subscribe my channel and share share the video if you like